so the given number completely divisible by 3 means sum of the digits sum of the digits sum of the digit should be multiples of 3 okay sum of the digit sum of the digit must be must be multiple multiples of multiples of 3 okay so this fact you have to know sum of the digits should be multiples of 3 okay so i will give some number you have to check that number whether it is completely divisible by 3 or not okay so first i will take 21 so 21 we have checked so it will be completely divisible by 3 or not so the given number so i will write that two digit is present so 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 means what 3 2 plus means 3 so 2 plus 1 3 means so 3 is the multiple of 3 no so that means um, the given number is divisible by so the given number so the given number is multiple by sorry the given number is sorry the given number is divisible by 3 okay so the given number is divisible okay so completely divisible by 3 okay so i'll write one more number you just check on that okay then you can understood okay next to one so 243 okay so just check on that this number is completely divisible by 3 or not so how to write this number so 243 there are three digits 2 plus 4 plus 3 okay so 2 plus 4 plus 3 means what is the number 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 so 9 is the multiple of 3 may I write 3 6 9 so 9 is the multiple of 3 so I will write here 9 is the multiple of 3 so okay so 9 is the multiple of 3 so the given number so the given number is completely divisible by so the given number so the given number is completely divisible by completely divisible by 3 okay okay students so this is that uh, concept of divisible by 3 next we have to move on that so completely divisible by 4 so how can we write the rule for what is the rule for divisible by 4 so i will write here so divisible by 4 okay so rule for divisible by 4 so divisible by 4 what is that rule so just to look on that first one so i am going to write some numbers so that number whether you have to check this will be completely divisible by 4 or not so before that i will write what is the rule for completely divisible by 4 so for this i will write a number a number with 3 or 3 or more digits 3 or more digits is divisible by 4 is divisible by 4 if the number if the number if the number formed if the number formed by its last two digit last two digits last two digits is is divisible last two digit is divisible by four okay last two digits divisible by four so it is nothing but we have to look at that last two digit when the number is when the given number is three digit or more than three digit means we have to look at that last two digit so if the last two digit we have to check whether it is divisible by four or not okay so i will write some numbers we have to check on that the last two digit okay so a number with has three digits that means more than three digits so if you look at that last two digit then it is 
டிவிசிபிள் பை ஃபோர் மீன்ஸ் வி கேன் சே தட்ஸ் அ டிவிசிபிள் பை ஃபோர் ஓகே ஸோ ஐ வில் ரைட் சம் ஒன் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் ஸோ த கிவன் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் இஸ் செக் தட் வெதர் இட் இஸ் டிவிசிபிள் பை ஃபோர் ஆர் நாட் ஸோ ஐ வில் ரைட் திஸ் நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட் so just you have to take that last two digit so what is that last two digit so just encircle that last two digit so the last two digit you just check on that it will be divisible by 4 or not so divisible by 4 or not so 7 4 are 28 so 28 minus 28 0 that means completely it will be divisible by 4 so that means what we can say so the last two digit so last two digit is okay you just write last two digit is Uh, is a multiple of 4 okay his last two digit is a multiple of 4 so then we can say then we can say that uh, then we can say the given number is multiple the given number is the given number is multi then the given number is divisible by 4 okay so divisible by 4 so this is that number so i'll give one more number you just check on that okay so for the last uh, i'll give one more examples so 1732 so 1732 whether you have to find uh, check for that so whether you have to find it will be divisible by 4 or not so what is the rule for divisible by 4 so the divisible by rule is so you have to look at that last two digit so here how many digit is there four digits so it should be more than uh, three digits means so just look at that uh, so last two digit you just encircle it so whether you have to check that the given number 32 the last two digit is completely divisible by 4 or not so so the just check out that the last two digit so this is the last two digit so just check that the last two digit is here 32 so last two digit is 32 means so 32 is the multiple of uh, 4 so 8 fours are 32 so 32 minus 32 0 that means uh, it will be completely divisible by 4 so we can write uh, so the given number the given number is completely divisible by 2 okay so just write that the given number is divisible by divisible by 4 okay so next to one the divisible rule or divisibility of okay so divisible by so divisible by 6 okay so the rule for divisible by 6 next to one is divisible by 6 okay so the given number is divisible by 3 so, sorry 6 so how to check the whether the given number is divisible by 6 so first we have to check that uh, first we have to check okay so first we have to check that uh, the number uh, given number is the given number is divisible by the given number is divisible by 2 and 3 okay so the given number is exactly okay completely divisible by completely divisible by 2 and 3 2 and 3 means then we can say then we can say the given number is completely divisible by 6 then we can say the given number is given number is multiple sorry given number is divisible by 6 okay so this is the rule for the divisible of 6 so why sir we have to and uh, check that the divisibility of 2 and 3 see just i will write so 6 i can write 2 into 3 okay so 2 into 3 so that means uh, if the number is completely divisible by 2 and completely divisible by 3 then it we can say it should be completely divisible by 6 okay Uh, otherwise uh, if any sir uh, sir if the number is uh, divisible by 2 sir but it is not divisible by 3 sir so can we say that it will be divisible by 6 no okay for example here i will here i will write that so number so 27 so 27 means what is the rule for checking that uh, divisibility of 2 so divisibility of 2 means we have to look at that last digit so last digit must be ended with 0 2 4 6 or 8 but here the digit last digit is ended with 7 so we cannot say uh, what is the, it will be completely divisible by 2 uh, okay so that means it is not it is not completely divisible by 2 okay it's not completely uh, it's not completely divisible by 2 okay but what about that uh, 
3 what about 3 means 27 so 27 we can write 2 plus 7 so 2 plus 7 means 9 so it should be the multiples of 3 so we can say the 27 is divisible by divisible by 3 okay so 27 is divisible by 3 so what is the prediction here so here we can say the given number is it should be divisible by 3 but the number it should not be divisible by 2 so we can say what is the condition for this it should be completely divisible by both 2 and 3 okay it should be completely divisible by both 2 and 3 then only we can say the given number is divisible by 6 otherwise we cannot say the given number is completely divisible by 6 okay so i will write one more number so that number you have to check whether that number will be div completely divisible by 6 or not okay so i will write this number 18 so 18 means uh, we can check that so first we have to check the divisibility rule of 2 so divisible rule of 2 means so next we have to check that number the divisible by uh, the number is 8 so the, the last digit should be ended with 8 okay so the last digit is end with 8 so that means it will be completely divisible by 2 okay so completely uh, divisible by completely divisible by 2 okay so just to look at that uh, what is the given condition for it will be completely divisible by 6 means first we have to check the complete divisible by 2 and then we have to check the number completely divisible by 3 or not so 18 so there are two digits so 1 plus 8 so 1 plus 8 means 9 so 9 mean 9 is a multiple so 9 is a multiple so 9 is a multiple 9 is a multiple of 3 so we can say the given number is uh, multiple uh, divisible by 3 so the given number so the given number is so the given number is divisible by 3 okay so both so this number 18 it will be completely divisible by 2 as well as 3 so that means we can say it should be completely divisible by 6 so the 18 the given number so 18 is completely divisible by completely completely divisible by okay completely divisible by completely divisible by 6 okay okay students uh, next to one we have to check that that complete divisible of 9 what is the rule for complete divisible by 9 and uh, what is that 11 okay so i will do that first so the rule for divisible by 9 so what is the rule for divisible by 9 so first we have to write that same way like uh, in the divisible rule for 3 the same way you have to write that so if the sum of that uh, if the sum of the all digit if the sum of if so sum of the if the sum of the digit of a number so digits sum of the digits of a number okay sum of the digits of a number is sum of the digits of a number is divisible by 9 okay so divisible by 9 then we can say then the number then the given number then the number itself divisible by 9 then the number itself is divisible by 9 okay so divisible divisible by 9 for example so just uh, look at that so i will write one number 308 so 308 means so just write that individual digits 3 plus 0 plus 8 okay so 3 plus uh, 0 plus 8 so that means uh, here the number if just check on that 8 plus 3 11 so 11 it is not the multiple of that uh, it will not completely divide by 9 okay so it will not completely divide by 9 so the given number 308 will not be divisible by 9 so i will write one more number okay so i will write that so 4608 for this number you have to check so this number it's not divisible okay it's not uh, divisible so 4608 so just write that individual digit 4 plus 6 plus 0 plus 8 so then it is called 
4 plus 6 10 so 18 so 8 means 8 can be divided by 9 so 1 9 sir 9 2 9 sir 18 so it will be completely divisible so we can say the given number 4608 will be completely divisible by so completely divisible by completely divisible by 9 okay so this is the rule for uh, some numbers so in the next class i will say that what is the divisibility pattern of the 11 okay so because the time gets over so anyway so the next class i will uh, say about that uh, what is the divisibility by 11 okay and then we will do some problems so thank you students i hope you understood so please make a note on this so thank you all we'll see you in the next class